as celebrations erupted coast to coast in the wake of the Supreme Court's ruling to legalize gay marriage Friday, one special party was about to get underway in Atlanta, Georgia. Bob Jamerson, an Atlanta street performer known locally as Baton Bob, ready to exchange vows with his fiance Gary Bender in a ceremony in the city's Piedmont Park. We gather here this evening to acknowledge the only thing that really matters, love. Mr. Jamerson, who works as a freelance floral designer, has been performing around the city for over a decade. Often dressed in an elaborate costume, he began his baton twirling act after the 9-11 terror attacks, on a mission, he said, to spread happiness. Mr. Jamerson and Mr. Bender didn't legally marry on Friday, but the date of their wedding ceremony happened to coincide with the Supreme Court's decision to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Prior to the ruling, Georgia was one of 13 states where same-sex marriage was not legal. I don't need that to validate our love. And I'm just so grateful that now, not only us, but any people out there that want to express their love and showcase that they have options that they didn't have before, they have protection that they didn't have before. The wedding reception also functioned as a fundraiser. Mr. Jamerson opened the party to anyone who paid a $15 ticket price to raise money for two charities. As a tribute to the self-proclaimed ambassador of mirth, guests were encouraged to dress in costume. Guests relished in the opportunity to also celebrate the Supreme Court ruling at Mr. Jamerson's party. You know, it says in the Constitution we're created equal, and we are, but somehow people aren't treated as equals. So love is love. It's uh, a remarkable thing that I think should have come a long time ago. Glad to see the Supreme Court is very in touch with the citizens and it shows that America is more progressive than a lot of people think. Love is love and we operated from that premise when we planned this occasion a year ago. So this just add icing to the cake and I'm most grateful.